What is up, you beasts? This is Young Soldier SK, and as you can see by the title, this is my first highest scoring gameplay that I talked about in like my first video or an MW3 video, I'm not sure, but this is my first highest scoring gameplay. I hope you enjoy it, even though I'm kind of getting about like a noob with the UAV arm, the Hunter Killer, and the Lightning Strike. But seeing as it is the Lightning Strike, I'll probably. You know, you probably you end up, you know, you no matter who you are, you end up with like, getting a quad feed, especially at the start where before they catch it, where as soon as you placed your last coordinate, the yeah, lightning strike will come in straight away and just great havoc and normally get you a triple, double, or a quad feed. So that doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoy it. Obviously, this is not up to me. This is up to you, the quad beasts, to decide how good this gameplay is, and I'm just the noob that brings it out to you. And as you can see, more to this of me being a noob with me using, you know, me having that dead title and that rank 55 emblem and free perks. But anyway, let me get into the title. Firing range 2025. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's a possibility that it might make a return. I mean, I'm not saying I've got any info for you, so I think this is an info video. And before I get into this, yes, this is a 10 minute video and and this, and this gameplay there will be a couple of kill death, kill death and death, death, death situations, but you know, I think I do, it's 72 kills so there must be something good that's going to happen because it can't always be, you know, well, depends who you are, but anyway, honestly I think it really should make a return, I have a feeling that it probably will make a return in the future, in, you know, with the DLCs because honestly they brought back Newtown, from Black Ops 1 and on, on, on Black Ops 1, Nuketown and Byron Range were therefore the two best maps. I love Nuketown because of them first blood Sentexes and just the way they built that map, it was just such a sexy design. Honestly, it's just so beautiful and everything, it was just good for rushing and like I said, you know, at the start of the map where you would get that first blood with the grenades and Sentex, especially in Search, because when you kill one or two or three guys with that first blood, Grenade, you're like, yes, I am set for the whole match. I probably wiped, you know, one or two or three key players or whatever. And honestly, I just really think they should bring it back. And you know, let me know what your favorite map was in Black Ops 1, even though I have a feeling it was rather Newtown or Firing Range. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the. I'm gonna do a max review now because you know the DLCs are coming out, and I think you know might as well get a review out now, so I'm not, you know. Even though it will be a part two later with the DLCs, but you know what I mean, like with you know to get the maps we did, or the old maps out of the way now. Now let me start, and I know in my consistency video saying that I'll bring out different varieties. You, in a way, you've kind of seen the same maps kind of in a loop already. I'm not sure. I haven't really checked the content. You know, already uploaded six videos. I don't, I'm not not sure if you have. But anyway, right now I've got Ray gameplays, I've got Plaza gameplays, I've got another New Town gameplay, and you know. And they are literally 100 plus fails, but that doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, I did do good, and you know, but that's up to you guys to decide. The beasts, like I said, these are the beasts, the card beasts that are training me to be better on card and at YouTube. But thank you guys for for your continued support for that. And so, you know, aftermath, I like that map, but honestly, it just has a very, it just has a downturn feel to it. You know, them times where you get them laggy matches and the music lasts and you get to hear it, I'm not gonna lie, the, after, the aftermath the music was actually sick. It wasn't finished, but you know, I did kind of get a good one minute in of the music and I have recorded it and I will upload that probably like tomorrow or something, like as an in-between clip, because stuff that I upload in between the official Black Ops 2 videos and the official MW3 videos, I'll, you know, I'll probably upload like, maybe it will actually be a long video or it'll just be clips or something like that, it's just what that happens to me on this game that, you know, I'm sure you guys will be interested to see, you know, including like rage moments, just random messages, you know, music lasting longer than it normally should, you know, glitches, some crazy lags and stuff like that, but anyway, cargo. My first game was on that map. I was using the Scorpion, of course. You know, you had the Ghost class on it. You know, I was just a stealthy bitch back then. Anyway. But yeah, it's a good map. Like I said, Treyarch. I have to say, well done to the interactive features that they've done in this game. I mean, you know, I mean, cargo. The way that things move up and down. It's a good thing to use for cover. 
Well, I don't really, I'm not really bothered about that because I don't really use it for cover anyway. But anyway, Carrier, I love that map. And it's so sexy, especially when you've got your assault rifles trying to get them long shot medals. I'm not going to lie, guys. I recommend it to you as well if you want to get your long shot medals. You know, on a, on a, on a you know, just so easily. And I'm not talking about boosting. It will kind of be like you boost because you can probably go into that and get your 10 long shots just like that. Because honestly, you can cut people from across the map. Not really that much hiding them. You know, you shoot them from here. All the way over there, the dead simple as you've got your diamond or gold camo on, it's just so sexy. But yes, it's definitely a good map. I love the music for it as well. The drone, I hate that map. I haven't got any gameplay on it. You know, choked so much because of them stupid snipers that, you know, are on that side. You wipe them. Ooh, it goes to the other side. You wipe them from that side. Ooh, you go back to the other side. It's just annoying. It's just flipping ring a ring and flipping rosy, man. Express. The only reason why I think they decided to make that map is because you know they were thinking of a train. They were like, you know what? Let's let's just we need to put a train on a map. Express done. That's exactly what went through them guys' head. Meltdown. No, I'm on hijacked. Hijacked is yeah. It's a good map, honestly. You know, oh, it's just I don't know. I'm not the only one that chokes on that map when it comes to you know. High school, getting them high streets, especially when you've got a rush that you're like, nah, 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 maybe I should jump for a bit, you know, play a bit passive, because I don't know where they are, and I'm a bit scared that I'll die, and it's so flipping annoying, and you're losing momentum, especially on a map like that, and honestly, I think Newtown, I think Hijacks is basically the new Newtown, because Newtown's not really doing it anymore, to be honest, especially what, you know, how it is now, people are thinking, yeah, we know what to do, we've had training, I've practiced on Black Ops 1, but it's different, like I said in my other gameplay, you know, practicing for Black Ops 2, it's not practicing for Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 is completely different, it is set in the future, the guns are different, the play styles that come up on this game are completely different, the way the streets are set out are completely different, but, that's just life, but anyway, I was saying, you know, new town. People camp because the kill streaks, like I said, the kill streaks have changed. And they just go on like cookie dickers trying to rush you anyway, which is just annoying. But well, if you've got a team of friends that are confident, and I'm not talking about them support teams, you know, you just got a bunch of friends that are confident that they're going to do well, then you're set. Overflow, meltdown, I mean, is a good map. It's well at 100 plus, it's happened to be honest. And you know, I love it though. I mean, you gotta hate when the snipers camp, but once you get past their camping defenses, their defense systems, you know, the BB, the shot charges, you will you're guaranteed to get a single, a double, or a triple, or even a quad, or even the whole team. It hasn't happened to me yet, but you know, I've seen it on other people's videos, and it is crazy. The amount of people that camp on this game is absolutely awful. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not, another annoying thing about these maps is the head glitch in spots. So annoying, very annoying, you know, it's just not that good at all. I know they done this for competitive, you know, they were focusing on competitivity when it came to it, but come on, the head glitch in, head glitch in spots was just the wrong idea. Overflow, it's a beautiful map, honestly, I haven't got any gameplay on that, I deleted it. I deleted Overflow gameplay to over a better gameplay. Well, that's, well, we'll have to see if you think that when I upload it. But anyway, Meltdown, I've already said Meltdown Plaza is a beautiful map. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love the scenery. I love, you know, what time of day it's set at. You know, I love the fireworks. It's so beautiful. And if they ever think about bringing out a stadium 2025, honestly, you know when you look across the map to that stadium place, I think that should be the new stadium because it looks absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I wish the map was based on, in that stadium thing and not on this side because it's kind of crap to be honest. I mean that 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 big massive building stops you swarm, you warship, your load star and stops up at the and other kill streaks, you know, from doing damage, which is very annoying. Raid just got too many head glitches spots, that's why I hate it but it's well as hundred plus happens. Slums I need to be bringing up my shotgun gameplay, I'm slacking in that, I'm sorry guys, you know, I just choked too many times, I'm like, nope, I'm leaving it, go away, but no, I will get back on to that, stand off, you know what, it's exactly what you hear in the music, 
sounds like it sounds like you're beating your wife and then she's just not liking it at all. But you know, it happens. Standoff. I already said standoff. Turbine, it is a hundred plus jackpot. That's all I have to say. You know, yes, your swarm goes to work. Not really a good design on the map, but oh well, that doesn't matter. And Yemen. It's my favourite map, I swear I've got 142. But is that impressive? It will be, we'll see.